Today on The Grid, it is Photography Portfolio Design Critique Day. So we're not looking at the images, we're actually looking at the layout and the design of sites that our viewers have sent in for us to critique. The Real Rocket Man is here today. We've got lots of news and all that kind of stuff. And of course, we have some very cool giveaways for some folks who are watching the show live with us today. It is going to be a perfectly delightful day on the grid. And when does all this mirth and merriment start? Well, it all starts in just 23.2 seconds. Let's go! Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the tripod alternative that is changing the world. Everybody has a Platypod. You should too. Go to platypod.com. Hello, beautiful wow. people. Wow. wow. Welcome. Welcome. It is Wednesday, 1 o'clock. We're actually kind of on time, which is rare for us. So mm -hmm. don't get used to it, but it happens. Anyway, glad to have you here. Uh, today is website portfolio critique day so we're not critiquing people's images we're looking at the design and layout of your portfolio page is it showing right. you and your images in the best light so that's what we're going to look at today we've had a number of people that uh submitted uh sites so we're going to be looking at some of those here in just a second uh and we've got some really really great ones and we've got some ones that are stuck in the early 2000s to late 90s we're gonna yeah look there's at, some myspace pages in there yeah a couple of myspace pages that we have to work on um what else we got uh we have some real quick news up front uh first off i'm very happy to announce that uh our our santorini uh travel photographer yeah. photog workshop that eric and i are doing is sold out someone picked up that very last ticket so we're very excited to have a full house once again so yeah. that's coming up sensational uh, we are very excited next i have budapest uh and then Santorini coming up after that. Both of those are sold out, but we're very excited and it's gonna be so much fun. Santorini is, is a pretty magical place. I've been there, Mr. Kuna has not, but mm -hmm. Mr. Kuna will fall in love with it yes. and want to return many times. It is a pretty magical place. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. Uh, Joe McNally, there are only two spots left. Someone's gonna grab one of those two spots for the workshop coming one up. Spot. Oh, there's only one spot. Only one spot. Oh, oh. Only one spot. One spot left. Someone's going to grab that last spot. Why not you? It is going to be, I, I really think it's going to be a, a turning point for some people that, that it, 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 it sends their career in a, in a trajectory. That's going to be great. Mm -hmm. um, if you watch the video on this page right here, right? So it's kelby1.com slash workshops. If you go and watch that video from Joe, it's Joe describing what you're going to experience with him. It's just a small group. I think it's 12 photographers and Joe. Uh, it, it's going to be something very, very special. And it, it's it's something I don't think he's ever done before. He may never do again, but you're going to have an opportunity to be a part of it. And I think that's just incredible. So that's coming up. Also, Joe has another workshop that he's doing in uh, on Ellis Island in New York, but it's yep. parts of Ellis Island the public is not allowed into. And he's done a couple of these so far. I know that Cheeky Nando attended one and raved about it. In fact, a, a number of people, John Dukes, is when, I think, went to one. Um, mm -hmm. It is coming up as well. And you can go, the, the website address is, is perhaps not the greatest, but it is um, fancygirlstreetboy.com slash... There it is. You can see it on screen there. Fancy girl, streetboy.com slash Ellis Island dash info. It's the easiest website ever. There you go. Ellis Island dash info. It's quite, quite something very special. And I hope that you'll get a chance to, uh, to, 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 to experience it, you know, with Joe. It's just one day, but man, what a day. What a day it will be. Anyway, what else we got going on? We've got the Lightroom Conference is coming up next month. That's going to be a packed house. Uh, that is all online. Two days, two tracks coming up April 16th. and 17th. Not too far away, just a few weeks away. So that's coming up, and you can go sign up for that at kelby1live.com. It's two days, two tracks with a pre-conference day as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got some nice classes planned. I'm excited about what I'll be teaching. Uh, I'm actually doing a class on Lightroom for travel photographers is one of the yep. classes. So it's going to be about my strategy for when I'm traveling and then how to edit the photos that, we, that I've, we've got. Let's see what else we got. I'm doing a workshop in Antarctica. 
next February. I can't believe it. I'm I'm I've always wanted to go, and it's it's a pretty extraordinary. Look at all the all the pros that are on this uh, on this journey, right? Look at all these like like incredible photographers, and they've rent they rent the whole boat the whole boat so you can get a thousand dollars off which is a lot of money you can get that off if you register early nice. so you're going to go to munch workshops m-u-e-n-c-h workshops fitness level com. easy fitness level easy yeah, yeah. and uh, and you're going to just see stuff that that people rarely ever get to see so that's kind of kind of amazing oh, yeah. and that's all coming up we also have a bunch of giveaways what are we giving away today mr oh, k so we got all, so many giveaways because we love to do that we've got the platypod grip uh which is Ooh, the, the little grip. um attachment for your phone Ooh, you put on your, your phone on the tripod grip. or platypod whatever you want uh so we're giving that away to somebody today uh we'll also be giving away scott's how do i do that in photoshop book you can find that over on amazon.com which i just saw the head up and then we're going to be giving away a copy of the Photoshop for Digital Photographers book, which again, available on Amazon. Uh, so, so somebody's going to win those uh, two books today. Uh, we also have a copy of On One No Noise 2024. So the new version is out. So uh, really insanely good at removing noise uh out of your photos it uh i've been using this new version and it's 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 better if you can believe it than the old version <laughs> which was already pretty insane so, oh yeah uh, somebody's gonna win that today uh we're gonna be giving away a v flat from v flat world now this is for u.s shipping only so you have to have a u.s shipping address to to win uh but everybody can win at v flat world because you can use that code kelby10 at checkout k-e-l-b-y one zero at checkout for 10 percent off over at vflatworld.com then retouch for me is giving away their mattifier app um that's a great plug-in for um doing retouching of people in photoshop uh it's great because it's all ai based and creates yeah, the mask sort of for you yeah and stuff like that. yeah so but these are these are pro level plugins pro level plugins definitely and it's amazing what it can do uh Everybody can get a discount on that as well using the code Kelby120 at checkout. So that's K-E-L-B-Y-O-N-E-2-0 at checkout. You have to go to the site promo.retouch4.me to use that. So promo.retouch4.me and you can get 20% off. And then uh, SlickPick is giving away uh, one year of the classic gallery plan. Uh, that's a $60 value. Uh, this is for new customers only. So if you already have a Slipfake account, you won't be able to uh, do this uh, or win this award uh, or prize, I should say. And um, so, to, but to enter the prizes, all you've got to do is just leave us a comment. No matter where you're watching, we're monitoring all the comments, and just tell us what you'd like to win. And then, if you have any questions or comments, uh, or just want to tell us where you're tuning in from, leave that in the comments as well, and you're automatically entered. All right. All righty. Give me one second because so, I just got a couple then we're, more uh, here. We're looking at uh, – oh, I have, I have one thing. Is um, So next week, uh, while you're getting that set up, next week we're going to be talking about the eclipse that's coming up. That is true. And this the is eclipse is coming up. So we've got an eclipse that's transversing all the way from Mexico up the coast all the way through almost uh, like Canada. Actually, you can see on my screen here, this is what I wanted to bring up. Uh, for everybody to, to see this is the cloud cover forecast as this morning for the eclipse which has a lot of people as it's developing kind of panicking because blue means clouds white means no clouds and if you look at that red line where it's mm -hmm. supposed to be going over it's a lot of blue a lot, a lot of, of clouds a lot of clouds now we're so far out that these things it's adjust to and it's gonna it's gonna change as it develops i thought georgia was the hot spot to see this but it's not it's like no texas. It, it runs up through mexico through texas uh goes through arkansas um kind of there in the um middle there and then goes over the great lakes uh well the far east of the great lakes so all righty now yeah if they want to shoot this is there anything that they need to buy or order now to get it yes. in time so the one thing about the you know we'll talk about it all next week about shooting the eclipse what you would need to do that but i think one thing that you might want to consider if you're near this and you're thinking about doing it yes is i would not suggest getting i understand if you want to shoot this professionally a lot they only come around once in a while you can get what's called a solar filter a solar filter goes in front of your, your camera it blocks all that stuff out so you can shoot the sun all the time 
it's blocking everything. Expensive? How, however, it is expensive, right? What I would suggest is go get uh, on Amazon or B&H, they sell solar film. Solar film. It's the same as a solar filter. It's just kind of like, think of it as like disposable film that costs 15 bucks rather than a uh, nice solar filter that costs $300. If, if you're not doing this regularly. The other thing that's really cool that I've used before is they actually sell solar filters for your phone now too, where it's just little uh, cardboard pieces. Or you can actually, for your, for your phone, just get the glasses that they sell. They'll sell them on Amazon. And I'll sell you, if you go get them this week, they'll be, av be available. If you go try to get it next week, They'll they be won't be. Out, right? What happened yep. last eclipse, everything just got like bought up uh, in 2017. Everything got bought up and it was all out. So make sure if you are interested in that, go get some solar film. Uh, it's just something you're going to mount in front of your, your camera. Because the other thing that I think a lot of people aren't talking about is, yes, you shoot that solar film and, and you shoot the eclipse. And let me just real quickly, I'll kind of walk you through uh, just real, real quick um, if I can pull it up. Yeah, here's an image. So look at this image, right? So you see how you have like the orange sun yes. and then you have a white sun. So the orange part is when you need the solar filter. That's when the sun's blaring at your camera. If you didn't have a solar filter on there, you'd end up burning your lens and or you'd burn your sensor. sensor and it, yeah. it wouldn't be a good thing, right? But when you get to the cool stuff in the middle there, you don't have a filter on. So most of the cool action that happens during an eclipse happens without a solar filter. So if you're in an area, the only thing is you wouldn't want to put your camera and shoot, start shooting until the totality or those, what's called the Bailey's beads, which are those areas where- You're gonna kinda, go through all this Yeah, we'll week? go all through all that next week. But all the right. point being that you want to buy a solar filter- uh, Now. Now. And really what I suggest is get solar film. It's a lot cheaper. And because this is a one-off thing, just go get some solar film. Or if you don't have that and you've got some NDs, we can work through that next week as well. Because you can shoot this as long as you have about 18 stops of ND. Uh, you should be fine. Yeah, it looks like they got solar film I in stock. Yeah, you could definitely. And those are great. Like those ones that right there, that two-pack, those go right. They just like fit right over your end of your lens. Those are great because that's what you want. You want something where you just remove it and put it back on throughout the eclipse. So when it gets to that point when you need to remove it, you just remove it when you have to put it on. Yeah, put it and on. you can see they have them for different size. Yep, and those are great. The, those Daystar ones right there, I've used those before. I mean, for what they cost, again, that's what you want to do. Versus three, ten times as much. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, we ready to get to work here? Yeah, so let's All get right, to work. All right, let me grab a, a site here. All right, let's take a look at this one. This is our first one now. It says Jesse F., but we know that this is Jesse Fireisen, who is an incredible toy photographer, right? One of the one of the best. There's a couple of guys out there that are just incredible. Uh, yep. Dan DeBeermaker and yep, some, yep. some of these guys that are Dave. I'm sorry. Yep. Excuse me, Dave. Dave and uh, and Jesse is. Look at this stuff. Yeah, All right. it's it's incredible photography. All right. but I like the website. I but like how his big site, the image. Let me tell yeah. you. Let me tell you. He is doing everything right. All right, and 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 I wanted to start with this one so we know what we're shooting for. First off, if you want to buy one of his prints, where do you go? Just a print store. Look, print store. It's it's up in the right corner, right where you expect it would be. It's a black button if you want to buy his stuff. Number two, look how the the images take over the screen. They yep. literally take over the screen, and you know everything you need to know about him as a photographer by just looking at these right here. Now, of course, he has a toy gallery. He has other galleries you can look at. Look, and look at his, his logo. It's up, it's up there. You know where it's at, but it's not mm -hmm. overwhelming. It looks slick and professional. This is as professional and well done as a as a portfolio site gets. And I wanted to start, I chose his, for, for not because we know him, because we do know who he is, uh, but. Um, what happens like if you just hover over it, is it like, yeah, there's just buttons like the the toy gallery, other yeah, gallery. There's, there's the toy gallery here, which is, that's what he really wants you to, right. to look at, right? Yeah. And nice big like thumbnails. Oh, and they're all like uniform. I don't have to click on them unless, is this Halo? Yeah, that is. Nice. Hey, That's by the cool. way, I'm watching the Halo television series. Yeah. 
It's two seasons, and we just started. We're just about to end season one. Absolutely fantastic. Way better than I was expecting. Wow. Way, way better. It's Every episode feels like a movie. It's so well done. Okay, but look at this. These thumbnails are big enough to where if you want to, you know, if you want to zoom in and see them larger, but they're big enough where you don't have to. And that this is, his site is just, this is it, guys. This is what you're, this is where we're trying to. Yeah, like what to, happens when you hit the print store? When you hit the print store, let's go. It probably goes to Smug Mug or something. Or he's using Pixie Set. Yeah, so buy online. Site. Yep, you can. Yeah, and that's what tells yeah, you how I to go. Tell, to it. Like that's what he's doing. Because oh, it shows it in your house. All right, what does it look uh, like? His main site is built off of Squarespace. I just looked yep. it up. So yep. main site's built off Squarespace, and then he's selling through, which that's a great way to do it too. Because there are limitations on certain sites. And then if you want to buy the photo. Then you can decide your sizes cool. and your costs Great and job. all that. Yeah, I mean, this is as well done as this is as slick. Yeah, I don't and even think I, there's anything to say. Yeah, and the just photography like, is amazing. And the too. photography is amazing. That, but that helps. Yeah, that that, that don't hurt. That Doesn't don't hurt. hurt right there. You got, you got that good stuff yeah, right I there. Think, though, if that was in the house, my my wife would not be too much of a fan of the Millennium Falcon right. falling through the skies. There so anyway, the that's sofa. that's a terrific <laughs> sight, Jesse. That's F. cool. Which is really like fire rising. But okay. Well, let's take a look at another one. So great job. Yep. And that was that one. And that's his theirs too. Let's look at this one. Well, I feel like we've stepped back a little bit in time. Yeah, this is like this feels like two thousand four here. Now, great photograph. Yeah, the great lighting and all that. Great like, lighting. But it's not the like, photograph. We're it's not, not the photograph. The photograph. Like, we're not going to say anything negative about photos, but if it's a good one, can we yeah. say it's good? We can say it's, it's good. It's good. This it's is great. A good, this is yeah. a great photo. But yeah. this is not a great site. This, this is kind of a... It's kind of a lame site. And you know what? This is a very good photographer. Yeah. I guess that's her right there. Yeah. You know what? So I guess Mylene, Mylene. So Mylene, here's what I would recommend: start start from scratch. And and you just saw what we're looking for. So you have this great picture right up front, right? And you have other great pictures that could be. Did you, did you notice on Jesse's website, Eric, that mm -hmm. his images did not stay on on too long? A lot of yeah. times when you have a slideshow, you wait and you wait and you wait. His were like one. It was like two, four beat. Three, four, sh one, yeah. two, three, four, sh one. So, like, you got a great shot here, and then the next shot down. This is a great shot. These are great shots. I would like to see those big and bold, and you know, because you know what happens. Yeah, this is when, designed to scroll too, and a lot yeah, of this is just a long yeah. scrolly, and it just it really has a dated look to it. Like even the font, like it's time to create a logo, an actual logo. Mm -hmm. It's just the whole thing just feels kind of dated. And when you think of the impact, and, and that's what it is. Like if, if I'm going to hire you for something, I want to go. And before I ever click on anything, I want to I think, wow, she's really good. Like I, I wonder if I can afford her. Because that's how you feel about Jesse's. Yeah. Like you know, wow, this, this person's really good. And the thing is, is you are really good. But your website yeah. is kind of I'm gonna, making me what, work for what's it. The, what's the website address? Just it is uh, M Y L E N E C U S S O N dot com. Mylene. Oh, so it's the name. I guess it's Kusan. Yeah. Or it could be Cousin, but I imagine it's Kusan. I'm going to go up on the room and say it's a WordPress. And site, let's but. look at the galleries. Oh, when you hit galleries, it doesn't take you. Yeah. To the, it just takes you down the page, and then I guess you have to click again. Oh, Mylene. And then you have really nice yeah, pictures. It's a WordPress site. That's why I figured. It's a WordPress. Yeah. Hey, yikes. I mean, but that's what, there's nothing wrong with WordPress, but that's the one thing about WordPress is WordPress is the. I feel like this, and this is what I felt like. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this is like a. They kind of laid out like a company site w would be. Yeah. So. You know, you can. You're, I, I imagine that you already subscribe to one of Adobe's platforms. Go, go to uh, 
what is it called? Adobe.portfolio.com Portfolio. and go build a nice portfolio. You can have it up and running tonight. You already have all the pictures, but big and bold and easy to get around. You shouldn't click on galleries and it just scrolls you down the page and then you have to click again. And what you'll save from not having to host your site with WP Engine yeah. and all that other stuff that, that you're stuff, doing. Yeah. You'll you'll be way better off. Yeah, and you can have it up and running tonight. I mean, it's it's it's. In fact, if you're a Kelby One member, I have a class on. I have a new class on how to do it. Or, or if you don't want to do it, but you want a killer looking site, let Slick Pick build Slick one pick. for you. We'll do it for Disclaimer, you. Disclaimer: They are one of our sponsors. But when they weren't one of our sponsors, I I that's who I use. Yeah. I use Slick Pick, and yeah, they built mine for me as well. The first one I built. I, I made yeah, my. You did the first I one made, on your own. I made my own one because it's actually fairly easy. Yeah. But then I was talking about on the grid, like here's what I really kind of want. My I need I need to fix it. I want to do this and that and the other. And they went and did it for me. Yeah. So they will do it for you. They'll build it for you. They have a plan where they just build it. You just tell them what you want. They envision it and or just say I want it to look like this website and they'll they'll do it. They're really really good. Yeah. So all right. Anyway, but. Your photography is way better than your website That's, is. That's I think what's so, happening here is yep. like the 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 shell in which you're you're not uh, you're not featuring your work because the shell in which your work sitting in yep. kind of looks dated and old and it doesn't really make that the star mm -hmm. the photography the New. star. All That's right. what a lot of those templates do is they're designed for photographers, they're, especially on Slick Pick. Yep, they're designed for photographers. They make photography look amazing. All right, let's take let's take a look at another one here. Let me close that one. Hang on. There we go. All right. Let's see. We already saw that one. How about... Oh, here's a nice one. Oh, look at that. Guys, look at the impact of that shot. Look at that. Yeah, when how you big see it is. these shots, they're big and they take over the screen and they, they, they just get you. They just get you. Look at that. That's a great shot, too. Now, this is a smug bug site. I can tell it's a yep, smug bug site. Yep, because it says smug now, bug up in the to, left corner. What you need to go through is your settings in smug bug, and, and there's a little turn off the button logo where you can turn off that logo. You yeah, can and that logo right can, can go away. So just go through your settings, and you can yeah. turn off that logo. Right. There's just a little link. But this looks nice, and if I click on portfolio, Eric, is it going to scroll down the page, to, or is it just going to take me to his portfolio? Look, here it is again. Nice big like i don't have to now each one of these is going to be another portfolio unto itself right, right? right. but let's look at the air show images just I because like we like air shows oh that's nice yeah it's good stuff hey i have a shirt with this on it right there just that part the green and i made yeah. i made my own shirt uh nice aviation shots very nice oh yeah look at that oh yeah nice nice yeah, the photography is great and it's big and it's impactful um I, yeah hey eric if you go to an air show in america what are you likely to see <laughs> the thunderbirds blue angels and the f-18 uh F demo team f-22 yeah the raptor and this year only until it retires the a-10 the warthog ugliest plane in the sky all right mm, very true all right anyway but this is another example i don't like this as well as jesse's but it's close yeah, he's doing everything I think, right. I think Big the one impact. thing when you go to the home page, it's uh, some of the text gets lost on the home page with certain images, but that's it's okay. Uh, it's not I, terrible. Yeah. Well, let's just see. Let's look at the other images. It's not terrible. His uh, slideshow is a lot slower than Jesse's, but not, not not a lot slower. It's a bit slower. All right. Yeah, but I, I, Ooh, I look love at that. The impact. Look at that. I, I got a fish. My God, we're having fish tonight. All right. Anyway, pretty good, though. Pretty good. All right. Yeah, that, that top toolbar is killing me. Though. Yeah, the, the smug mug thing is, yeah, that doesn't have to be there. I'd yeah. rather see more of the burr. Look at that. Yeah, you can see the bear is there. It, yeah. I'm expecting the toolbar to be up there or the, the, na the navigation bar to be up there because it's great. Yeah, like this. If you're yeah, going to yeah, move this up there. up there. Yeah, yeah. He's right. Then it'd be fine. Then it'd be fine to be up there. Yep. Also... You, I, I would just say this, Stephen. You have your logo that says Stephen's Outdoor Photography, and then you write it again, Stephen's Steve Outdoor Photography. Yeah, just take that out. You take that big one out and just put your logo right there, or put that there and get rid of your logo. But there's no sense in saying yeah, Stephen's Outdoor like Photography. Double, double work. 
And then, and then, and then don't, don't put your website you've got on the there. website where I'm at They're your on website. Your website. So don't the, put the website. Don't on put there. your website. I'm at your website. Yeah, just don't put it on. Yeah, there. okay. You can clean this up a little bit. Agreed. Okay. All right. All right. Let's yeah, take a look at a, let's take a look at another one. Um. Uh oh. Ooh. Two thousand called. They want their they want their template back. <laughs> what? Is, do, yeah, you know what this looks like is uh, remember the old Apple, like. Apple websites, what was it called? Oh, yeah. Like me.com. Here's another really good photographer with a really bad portfolio website. Linda, you're better than that, Linda. Yep. Linda, you Linda. got some nice shots. Linda, let's see them big and let's, you know. And also, you could, you could probably get down to one, one, one sentence here. You know, like like your first line, whether you're looking to capture a moment or a milestone, you want a professional photographer to help you do it. I'm already looking at on professional professional photographer's yeah. website. I'm already I'm already I you're not you're trying to sell me on the idea to hire a professional. I'm looking I'm shopping for a a, a website for a photographer's website. So right. you could just move that last line here and just make it one thing but these pictures you've got some really good shots that would be really impactful really really large and then you got the same shot this shot is the same shot here i just saw this one yeah try to vary it yeah you got you got the skills you got to get the website yeah, this this long scrolling site's kind of meh. What happens right. on portfolio? Yeah. Let's go look at portraits. So it's the same things that were below. Got it. Yeah, it's the same topics. That's cool. No one's going to read all that text. Yeah, you can almost reverse that. Make the portraits the lead. Yeah. Now your your thumbnails here aren't bad because they're at least big enough to where. Yeah, you could they you could see them. Yeah. Clearly. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. It seemed like a lot when I was scrolling through. We'll figure it this way. Let's say oh, that you man. took out the six weakest ones. It'd get that much better. Especially since like, you got the same guy in here twice. Yeah, maybe that's one of the things too with the portfolio is trying not to repeat the same look so it yeah. becomes obvious. Yeah. So the this inside page is way better, except for all this text. Well, yeah, the, if you reverse the inside. That. Now yeah. this would be good on like you know an about me page, which is very very important yeah, in these. Yeah, let's side. say a meet me page. Like, is that an about me page? Yep. So that's kind of like the about me page. Yeah, well, that's fine. So maybe putting more of that information there. Yeah, move some of that salesy stuff there. And I want to look at your sports portraits just because I like sports portraits. Just listen. But see, I think, like, look at these. These are nice, big. These are well done. Ooh, these are really good, actually. These are these are better than well done. These are, these are good. Yeah. These are, you're smoking it. All right. Yeah, but then imagine those pictures in like the first couple sites we saw where they were really right, big. Right, they were they really big, impact. right? Like, this is like a pro shot. Ooh, it went away. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I want to see them big. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Yeah, so maybe that's what it is. It's just, again, just increasing that size and, and decreasing. Like, let the image sell your site. Yeah. And then let the copy be something people seek out. Because at the end of the day, that's what they're going to hire you about. You know, are, there, are your images exciting? Is that the kind of images that they want? We're going to take a short pause. When we come back, we've got a lot more. We've got a lot more sites to look at. And we're going to do it right after this. Don't go away. Okay, landscape photographers, wildlife photographers, all you guys, travel photographers. I've had so many of you come up to me and go, 
You know what? I stink at taking portraits. I'm not any good at them. I've never taken a good portrait. I'm not a portrait guy. Just not me. I'm not a portrait gal. Nope, not me. You know what? You're probably not until you watch this course. I'm gonna set you up for success. We're gonna stack the deck and all of a sudden, the clouds are gonna part. You're gonna take your first portrait following everything I say in this class. You're gonna look in the back of your camera and you're gonna go, holy cow, I can do this. You're gonna become a portrait photographer when you do this because you're gonna fall in love with the whole process because it's easy and simple. There's steps that people are leaving out and I'm putting them in. You're gonna get all of them in my brand new course. It's called taking your first portrait and knocking it out of the park. And it's exclusively here at Kelby One. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Canon. Hey, everybody. We're back, and we got some shout-outs from folks yeah. watching today. Yeah, because Claire Jones is saying, greeting from the edge of the fence. Claire Jones. And then uh, Gary saying, uh, hello from the best place to view the eclipse, Buffalo, New York. Let's hope. Uh, we'll see about the clouds. And then uh, Anders is saying hi from Sweden. Uh, Shelly saying hi from Arizona. Rami saying hi from the Great White North. So hey, Rami. Rampton. And then uh, Bob Rampton. saying hi from a sunny Central Florida. Uh, Paul saying good day from Australia. Uh, Dave saying hi hello from Catalina, Arizona. Todd from uh, Agora Hills, California. Uh, Robert saying hi from Salt Lake City. And Karen saying hi from Wintry, Minnesota. Let's go. And then uh, Tony H is saying, hey, guys, your uh, class on air shows helped me tremendously a couple weeks ago. We're, so, we're glad it did. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, let's go. Yeah. And then uh, Rob saying hello from the Netherlands. Just started the fast track and it rocks. rocks. Uh, keep up the good work. So awesome about that, too. Uh, and it's, if nobody knows about the fast track, that's a great thing inside of Kelby One that we did. Uh, we started last year. It's a it's a section of, of five classes that you take in a certain sequence. Yeah. To take you from like a level one photographer to like a level three or four photographer. Yeah, I put really together jump this, up. this thing that was designed to. It's called the photographer's fast track because it's designed to move you ahead years in just. It literally. It sounds crazy, but it's one hour a day. Okay, it could be one hour and 15 yeah, minutes, yeah. but you know, one hour-ish per day 
for five days in a row. And, and Larry Becker and I lead you through this process. And at the end of it, I mean, the, re the results and the stuff that mm -hmm. people are saying about this fast track are like as, as big as anything we've ever had. And yep. so if you join Kelby One, it's part of it. You can start with the fast. In fact, I would. If you're especially if you're newer to photography, start with the fast track because I cut right to the heart of the real stuff. And it's 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 and you know, it's uh, where is it at? Well, not there. Not there. But if you go to kelbyone.com, you would you would find it out. Yeah, it's there on so. kelbyone.com. But anyway, this photographer's fast track. It's included in your membership. And uh, it, it is designed to do just what it says. All right. Uh, hey, by the way, speaking of Claire Jones, the world's greatest, or at least one of the world's greatest, arguably the greatest, I think, rugby photographer. So I, I borrowed one of her cameras for the first mm -hmm. half. Yeah. And I actually got a couple of okay shots. Mm -hmm. I, I, now, these are not edited or anything, but if you take a look, I looked at the first... So they're way better than what I showed the other. I'm yeah. just going to zip. There's some really bad ones too here. But at least I got someone like in focus and it's okay and there's some action. You know, I don't know what that is. But yeah, these are not, these are just, I'm just literally, you're just seeing. But I, oh, look, nice. Nice. How do you like the way I followed the ball oh, here? That's right. Hey, there's the ball. Look yeah. at that right there. There's some good photography. It's artistic. All right. This isn't terrible. All right. But I, I felt a little better after I saw some of these. Now there's a bunch of crap in here too. There's a lot of crap. But you know what you will see is, when I, when I, when I, oh, I complete, look at this. This was good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Look how sharp and crisp that is. Yeah. yeah. Medic. Great. So, anyway, yeah, there's a lot of crap in here as well. But <laughs> at least, at least I got a couple of shots in there somewhere out there. All right. Man, that was fun, though. So much fun. That's cool. Greatest time. Took a lot of bad shots, but all right. Let's go back right, to good back shots. To... Let's go look at some good shots here. All right, let's take a look at this shot right here. And uh, this belongs to uh, Alan. And it, it, there's some, some good stuff here, but you're, you're seeing, and this is a fine photo. It's not the photo. But it's, it's the crop. It's, it's the, the crop. Yeah. You, instead of using wide, in, big impact photos, you're, this is the first photo you see when you show up. And it's like taking up like 30%. There. Oh, see how when you photo. see it wide, it takes up and it has this big impact. And then this is like two-thirds of the screen. And then there's so many vertical shots. You know, when you have the wide shots, there's the impact. When you have the tall ones, unfortunately, on this, on this front page, it just doesn't have the impact. And then yeah. if you go to some of his... Uh, uh, portfolios over here which which i like the navigation on the side is nice mm -hmm. and the but but here comes the thumbnails are too small these are too small i can't look and so now well, i gotta and then I'd now also, i gotta go got through that, if again got, if you got that many listed over there could you reduce that down to where when you hit landscapes it just shows your best landscapes i would rather see this yeah. right instead of having waterfalls and that and all, skip it skip it skip all yeah. that and go right to just here go to your this best is landscapes good. I don't have to click on them to see. Oh, there's only four of them. Yeah, especially since there's only four. four. Just give me your best landscape. Give me your, yeah. Combine all those. Give me those. your best macro. Like Come, what happens right. when you hit macro? Let's see what happens when you hit macro. Yeah, just give us your best ones out yeah. of there. Yep. Nice and big. Yep. And you can put macro, landscape, and floral all together, you know. And then I'm going to go to, let's go to flowers. Nice flowers. These are nice and big. Oh, these are nice. But there's only four of them. So you can combine this yeah, with something else. Yeah. You can combine this. All right. So, All hey, right. Linda says, I know what I'll be working on this week. I really, really appreciate the feedback from you guys. Awesome. Let's go, Linda. Linda. I'm glad you took it. Send yes. us, your, when you update like, your site, yeah, send, send us. It to we want to see it. We I want to show it. it. I want people to see that yeah. when, you, when, you, when you take it to heart, right, and you don't mm -hmm. get offended by it, and you go, hey, you know what? That makes sense, and you fix it. I'll guarantee you when you see Linda's site next time, her great mm -hmm. photography is going to look And that that's where I think better. Alan's site, if he took out those middle pages, made yeah. them like condensed portfolios, and then on the home page, take those verticals and you either got to crop them or you got to bring in stronger horizontals. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. put two up. Or two ups. Two yeah. ups side by side. You know, you make it that. the same size as a big image, but put two up so it, it has some, it, it's just missing some impact. Your basic design is okay, but you got to, you kind of got to do that. Uh, look at Tim. Tim! 
Tim yeah. says, uh, Scott and Eric, I'm editing my new portfolio site, so I enjoy the grid, and I've already modified it a bit based on your discussion. Let's go, awesome. Tim. There All right. Go. All right. Let's take a look at what else we have here. Here's a nice one. Marcus. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Marcus is a good photographer. I see the Royal Albert Hall and uh, Venice and looks like St. Christopher's in London here. Very, very nice photography. This is great stuff. And I like that you can see a pretty good, I just want to see it all bigger. I just, now, yeah. I like everything's like nice and you know clean across the top. His logo's not too big. He's got his social up on the top right corner. A lot of that is good. I just want to see these bigger because now I, I really got to click on them. That's the Royal Albert Hall in London. That's nice. Wow. Yeah, it's a hard one because I know a lot of people are wanting to show. I know. Like, here's my body of work. And then click I just, in. But I know, I know but this saying. is just going to show the same shot bigger. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Um, now, is there another? Uh, this is. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not sure about the translation there. I guess this is the town of Braunschweig. Maybe that mean, yeah, means something. And this is, let's see what this is. Is it a town or is it? Oh, these are published, like published work, I think. Or portraits. You know what, though? I do like this. This seems more, in, in lines like that, it just seems more orderly. And it, unfortunately, this one's off by a little right because of this longer one here. Yeah. But not bad. I'm, I'm going to say overall, not bad. I would love to see these front page larger or picture, like, look at this shot. Um, see, if I came here and that was the first shot, that is St. Christopher's in, in London. Yeah. Um, you know what's interesting? Can I tell you something interesting about this chapel? It, yeah. It's only, he's at the back road. There's only four pews. That's how small and it is. He's doing it but right. But he's down he's low and he's using wide, wide, wide and it looks big and bold. And it, it's just, it's, a, it's incredible. It's in a, child, it's in a children's hospital right but so i think what you're saying there if you go back to impact. it's almost like the home page what you're wanting on the home page is to have your best images that size with your yeah, toolbar look at that. and then if you clicked in you could see that tile okay. let me just say this marcus imagine if this is what i saw when i came to your page first like i clicked and i typed into your thing i'd be like oh this guy's good like i already think like ooh, this guy's good ooh like you know what i do mean you, do you think part of that is and i'm just it's curious more than anything do you think it's because as photographers a lot of times when we see it big we can like small thumbnails can hide a lot yes is that what it is you, you know what it is big means impact impact right yeah. why do we always want to make bigger and bigger prints because when you see them big it's a whole different experience when i look at your site right now look on screen when you look at that it just has impact and to me, I look at this, and number one, I want to go there. I don't even know where it is, but I love this shot. And if you're if you're watching, uh, Marcus, please tell me where that is. It's like I got a trip to plan. I got, I yeah, I, I want to know where that. I mean, it, it would. I, I, I want to think it's in Italy, but I don't know. But yeah, I, I don't know. There's not, and that's what I love about it. It's kind of timeless. Yeah, it's it timeless. is timeless. Like, I love this. There's know? nothing that gives away when it was taken. It's yeah. got that romance. It's got the, he shot it at the right. I mean, he's a good photographer, but. So get that, that impact. That's what, yeah, there's the impact, that impact right there. Yeah. Uh, hey, let me go back. There's a so question maybe, here. Maybe that's what it is there. Starting out your first page with those impact, and then yeah. you can move into smaller thumbnail galleries. And he's got a lot of pictures that would look good big, right? I particularly like that one or, or St. Christopher's. How mm -hmm. about this one? Even that one yeah right i think that's in milan but i'm i'm not sure um but anyway and you can always toggle through the big ones look at that yeah well and speaking of like so jerry's asking a question of uh what are your thoughts about white backgrounds versus black backgrounds so darker backgrounds versus lighter backgrounds like this one has a I, light background right i i so i'm gonna go with what stella kramer said so stella is this a genius at this and she's a woman that not only did i hire to help me develop my own portfolio but we have classes with her, she's taught at Photoshop World. She's brilliant. She is a photo editor from New York City, and that's all she does. Um, but 
she was like, go with white. Don't go with black, you know. So I, I, I'm going with white. But, but she, and she gave all kinds of reasons. If you oh, watch you her go. class, she talks Marcus about it. said, it's Ro in Croatia. Ro and oh. that's on the list. That's on the list. Rovinch. 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 Croatia. Croatia. All right. Thank you, Marcus. Croatia looks beautiful. All right. Marcus said, thank you for the feedback. Really helpful. But hey, Marcus, it's not supposed to be a portfolio review, but nice work. Yes. <laughs> Good. Look at the image I got on screen right here. Yeah. And this guy can shoot. And that's what you're saying. Big impact like that Big on your impact. homepage, that would help. Makes me think like, wow, right? Okay. Because all I can see is these right here. Just pick one, two, I mean, I three, what, four, five. I totally five. see what you're saying. That's why I'm, I'm like pressing that issue because yeah. I think it is so much we're, we're designed to, hey, look at, look at all the images that I shot that are great. But it's like you, you want to start out with, here's an amazing Show image. Show me three or four. And, here's an amazing and image. And I already think and you're let brilliant. let scroll. Yep. Yeah. All right. But anyway, it's still pretty good pretty good site. Let me take a look at another one, then we'll take a break. Uh, let's look at this one from, from Dave. Dave Snyder. Nice photos. Well, I think it's kind of the same thing we were just talking about, right? Same thing we were just we, talking we about. We got a good layout on the left where you can Clean. see what, what you've got in your portfolio. You've got your collections. You've got a contact. But then you have to click in to see it big. Yeah, I would and rather saying, come and I see want that. that. Yeah. Right? I want to see. Let me, let, me, let me pick a killer home. Oh, there's a lot of nice photos here. Yeah. Hey, Eric, you and I shot this right here. Yeah. We were right on that bridge. Yeah, there's yeah. a little bridge there. Well, there's a bridge back. That's, yeah. You can't shoot on that bridge anymore, unfortunately. Really? His photo is yeah, better than what I got there. there I can you tell got you. the wave. You've got, you got the, the wave is nice. Yeah. You got the slot canyons. Yeah. Valley of Fire. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Palouse. You got the Palouse. That's yeah. yeah. I would love to see something big Those like that. Impactful shots. And then, and then, but what I would say, Dave, is that when when I click on your portfolio, when I go to urban landscapes or I go to whatever Utah fall colors or you know Moab, I, I want to see your your thumbnails larger, right? I want to see bigger. Th oh, look at that! Oh, I yeah, don't want to say, really oh, small. boo, boo. I want to see big thumbnails. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. All right, but Dave, yours is. Yours is almost there, right? You got the white background. You got clear, you know. Yeah. And Dave, it's time to come up with a, a logo there instead of just Helvetica. Because that's what they use to write speed limit 55. I think you can probably come up with something a little better than that. But anyway, but you're, you're almost there. All right, let's see. Let me do one more and then we'll take a break. Hang on. Let me look at this. Let's take a look at this one. This is John Gerard. Yes. Again, nice photography, good photographer. Yeah, I'm kind of like the navigation's getting lost for me on the top. Like, like I see commercial and area photographer, and then there's navigation above it, but they're like two different colors, and and I'm just not sure where to look. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the the, the whole layout here. I mean, very good photos. Is obviously obviously a talented photographer. Yes. It's and that shell where you're yeah. not sure what you're looking at. And and there's a lot of space here before you get to the photos. And then you're going to scroll through a, through a lot of them. Um, and, the, man, there's some images. Look at this one. That's nicely done. And you got them dogs. So scroll down. So, yeah, and then see, like, now it ends there, and it's kind of like a weird lineup with the final image. Yeah, this one just kind of feels outdated. It, it, it's not how a modern portfolio would be done. It's not, I mean, the photos are good and all that. It's not, it's not your photos. You've got photography by John Gerard up here, and then you've got your what, logo what, again over here. What ha yeah, like, that's what I was talking about in the navigation. I'm not... I wasn't even sure at first that that was a top toolbar because there was like, there's like a logo over to the right, right, which usually the logo goes on the left. So then my mind yeah. was kind of playing there. But look like, at this. Like that, if, that what, feels a Why lot isn't better. this your homepage right here? What's well, got that impact that, that Scott's looking for? Yeah. Why, why, why isn't this your homepage? Well, so scroll down on it. And look, big thumbnail. Why isn't this your homepage? Well, page? I would take that design and make, and make it, it your, your homepage. Home page. Yes. Like whatever that design is there yes. should be your homepage design too. Yes. 
Yes. Impactful images. Yes. It's actually clear too in the beginning yes. where I know that there's navigation. See, that was my problem with the homepage is I didn't know the navigation was fighting with the logo. If your homepage looked yeah. like this. And you're getting rid of all that other stuff up there that's superfluous. Yeah. All that other stuff. You know, just put your, your logo up there and your slogan and don't have a navigation bar and then another bar and then, you know, small pictures. Yeah, I really like, I mean. Yeah, yeah this course, is much better. I think that would probably, seems like that's probably a good portion of your business if you're putting that effort into that page. And, and instead of just saying what, photography what by head, headshots just out of curiosity or portraits headshots uh, that looks kind of dated oh this looks yeah, good though that looks good these look good you got good size here yeah that has impact yeah yeah this wavy stuff though really really looks dated yeah, and the way it's scrolling too. Yeah, you you've got the you've got the one good. Oh, that was another thing that that uh, Stella warned you about the scrolling. You know. Yeah, well, it's hard too. Like I'm looking at the pictures too. You know, when people's heads scroll and they don't move, it kind of looks <laughs> weird, doesn't it? It does look weird. It looks weird when like All right. uh, yeah. All right, we got a little bit of work to do there. Okay, we're gonna take a short pause. When we come back, we got some more images to look at, or some more websites to look at for sure. So stick around. We'll be right back. We're here live on the grid. Hello, visionaries and future master photographers. I'm Joe McNally. Since day one of my career, I've tried to be a complete photographer. That's why today I'm unveiling a six day masterclass in photography. It's called The Complete Photographer. I'm partnering my friends at Kelby One, who are worldwide leaders in photographic training. If you want to skyrocket your camera work and your artistry, this, as they say in the movies, is your golden ticket. We'll be working in the studio, but also on location, in environments that will challenge you to take the camera into an unfriendly environment and still come out with a photograph. Lighting is more than just illumination. It's the language of emotion and mood. We're gonna journey through this spectrum. Your head will be spinning, okay? It's an all access pass. So if you're ready to seize this unparalleled exclusive opportunity, because the next chapter in your photographic journey can start right here, right now. I look forward to witnessing your transformation. Hi, I'm Dave Clay, and I'd love you to join me here at Kelby One for my brand new class. And in this class, we are gonna cover so much. I'm gonna be showing you type tips. We're gonna be making brushes out of type. We're gonna be putting type round shapes. I'm gonna be showing you vintage effects. We're gonna be looking at different ways to take your images, select the subjects and put type in front behind, make movie posters. There's so much in this class that I know you're gonna absolutely love. So I'd love you to join me, watch my class, learn a whole bunch of tips about type and learn to love type as much as I do. And you can catch it here exclusively on kelbyone.com.
This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the world's most compact tripod base. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back. Yeah, we're back. We got some questions here. So Jill's asking, I'm creating a my concert photography portfolio from scratch. It's currently only on my Instagram. After that, the main page, would you sub subdivide into each band or only your best photos overall? Now, just show your best I photos would, overall. I would agree. Just hey, best. so I got, I got a real quick story for you, Jill. So um, my assistant used to be a Brad Moore. Brad worked with me for very, very many years. And Brad is a top-notch concert photographer. Mm -hmm. And so Brad uh, was had put together this this portfolio of, of these bands. And the interesting thing he said was a turning point for him in his career was what he wanted to do was show, look at all the cool bands I photographed. Hmm. So he had all these different bands and subdivided and all the groups. And that's and not what they somebody care did about. A portfolio review and said, it, it's what's more important, great photographs or which bands you've shot? One is trying to make you look good as, hey, look how cool he is. And one's trying to go, what, look what a good photographer he is. He yeah, completely like, took yep. everything out and rebuilt his portfolio from scratch. He's got a killer portfolio of his best concert photography, not a who's who of what band. And, and that's what's that's what's going to open up doors too. Because here's the other thing: is artists know if you're going to, they know other artists. Like yep. if you've got that picture of Bruce Springsteen on your homepage, everybody goes, "Oh, he shot Bruce Springsteen." Yeah, like yeah, yeah everybody knows that. Right. You, know, you need to explain but, it. But I want a killer shot. It's killer. Like, yeah. Somebody sent a killer shot of Bruce Springsteen into the grid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's tell, let's keep going. But anyway, that's to answer. Yeah. That question. So Chase is asking, um, is it important to think about how your site displays on mobile devices? Actually, if you, if you use the right software, Chase, your uh, your uh, site will automatically resize for tablets and resize for, and, and there's still, you want as big an impact as you can get on the phone. And so if you use little tiny thumbnails, there's so, going to be little tiny thumbnails will, on your phone. I will say with this, like, this is where what technology you're using matters. Like we've been saying here, like, I, I would venture to say if we looked at some of those WordPress sites that have, that I look at the template, and I'm like, it hasn't been updated in a few years. It's gonna look, they're not going to be good on mobile. Be bad on mobile. But the ones that were on Slickspick or Squarespace or Adobe Portfolio automatically. will automatically responsively scale to whatever device they're on. And by the way, if you watch my class on uh, using... Uh, the Lightroom, I, it has a preview, not Lightroom, the Adobe portfolio. It shows yeah, you a preview. Yeah. Here's how it looks on desktop. Here's how it looks on tablet. Here's how it looks on mobile. Yeah, All right. it'll just show you. you just Let's keep looking. It. Here we go. Let's look at Jack. Jack's got some fantastic Jack's Eagle Picks, which is, that's his site, Jack's Eagle Picks, J-A-X, Jack's Eagle Picks.com, but it's Jack. And I mean, man, look at that. That's the first image that comes up. I wish it was was wider. And I'm telling you, Jack, listen, hear me out, Jack. Go go and expand that blue. Like that's a good opening page because it looks like it's wide yeah. wider. But that blue shot, the first one that came up was this yeah. one. Just add blue on either side. Yeah. Fill out that page, and you're going to have a tremendously impactful. But these are tremendous shots. And uh, I, you're you're. Uh, Navigation on the side looks good. Your logo's not too big. It's clean. Let's look at let's look at Eagles in Flight. That's one of your portfolio sites. And let's hope we get big thumbnails. And we do. Yeah, there you go. Those are nice, nice and big. Yeah, I, I don't really don't have much to tell you here, Jack. Your well, other shots than are think killer in your saying on the home page is just make sure that those photos have that big impact. Yeah. If you're going that way. Yep. Yep. Big impact means big impact. What what happens on like uh, the other stuff there, like blog or store? Uh, we can go to store. Yeah, yeah. And you can Just see going it. Over another yeah. one. Yeah. Start shopping. There's wall art, eagles at rest. Yeah. Cool. There you can choose your sizes. Yeah, it's nicely done. Mm-hmm. All right. Very nice. Let's look at another one. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's oh. interesting when you see it, when you see it. I'm just observing. You know, like when you see a site, you immediately are going, uh oh. Probably, I think this one is because it feels dated, right? It it feels very dated, and you're, it doesn't feel like a photographer's site. Nope. And your your logo. Why is your logo so giant? Like your logo is just 
huge. Why isn't it off to the left? And then you got a bunch of small images. Look at look how small this is. These are tiny images. There's no impact. It, it looks kind of dated. Good photography again. The, today our thing has not been the photography. It is. It has been the. Yeah, I mean that's what this this yeah. site. That's my thing. It just doesn't look like a uh, a, a photographer's it, like body of work. Yeah, it's it's really. And let's go look at your portfolio. I bet it looks better there. Let's go to portraits. I bet it's better here. Well, yeah. It, these size. Look at the sizes. Oh no, yeah. it, it turns bad again. We got lucky for the first two. Yeah, it's time for. You know what it's time for. It's time for a remake. You need to remake your portfolio from scratch. And luckily that's very easy to do. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's just time. Don't need a giant logo. We need bigger pictures. Lo logo smaller, pictures way, way, way bigger. All right. Uh, boy, it's just, you have that immediate impact. You see the site, yeah. like, wah, wah. it's like, it's too bad. Um, here's another one that, is is almost there steven sight almost there nice opening shot of uh bamf that lake in in bamf yeah, lake louise lake louise in bamf yeah. and uh taken from the fairmont hotel the shores of the fairmont hotel yeah, but why isn't this bigger now if i click on it does it go bigger yeah i would rather see it that yeah. size and it's smug mug, right right so. and it's a smug mug so you can you can make it bigger. And let's look at a gallery. Let's look at Canadian Rockies. I, I would rather see three columns than bigger photos. Nice photos. Yeah, so just making, it, making them bigger, more pronounced. Yeah. I uh, mean, it's kind of nice. You got the little that, header up here. That's what's so hard, too, with the home pages because you just get that one image. You don't have any other images to really yeah see and they all follow the same kind of thing yeah it's i hate to say it steven you got great photos and kind of a boring website so it might be just time for a refresh it's just like this kind of looks boring i mean compare that with some of the other ones not photography wise but layout wise it's kind of a snooze mm -hmm. so but what happens to like photo books what is that what are photo books oh it's photo oh, books photo books cool Ooh, the essence of Italy. Italy. That's kind of nice. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's a, a blurb photo book that you can make in Lightroom. Yeah. You can see a little preview of the book here. The dust jacket. Can we get any? Is there any more of a preview or is that it? Uh, I think it's, it's blurb loading. Yeah, it's a blurb slowing. All right, and we up, oh, oh, come on. That was nicely done. Yeah. Looks like maybe cool. Portofino. Very nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving All on. Right. Well, we have to take a break. Let's take our last break. We're going to take a break real quick. <laughs> Christine is so happy. <laughs> Freaking take a break. We're taking and, and well, notice we have a few. Hey, notice the jib movement. Yep, yep. That is not Dobson's work. So yeah, we that have is a so smooth. Few more people to get to when so we come buddy. back, but we also have uh, prizes as well when we come back. I like prizes. Prizes are good. There we go. <laughs> everyone, I'm pro nature photographer Ian Plant, and I bet when you make wildlife photos, you're really excited. You're working with these beautiful subjects. But I have to ask you this, do you sometimes get back home and look at your photos and you're just really disappointed? Even though you were photographing a beautiful subject, your resulting photographs just aren't capturing the true essence of your wildlife subject? Well, that happens to me all the time. The reason why it does is because you get too excited about the wildlife subject. What you need to do is take a step back and think about ways you can get creative with light, with composition, with your camera settings and other techniques to take your wildlife photos to the next level. So check out my class. It will change the way you think about wildlife photography and it will force you to start getting more creative 
about your visual design and the creative use of exposure and light. And that will allow you to make compelling artistic wildlife photos that get noticed. I am a portrait and wedding photographer based in Valencia, Spain. I do mainly commercial and editorial photography and I retouch up to 100 photos a month. We shoot almost every day for all kinds of clients, such as commercial, beauty and fashion. And we retouch our work more often like every other day. I used to spend over one hour for one photo. If we want professional results, we must remove skin blemishes, do micro dodge and burn, highlight eyes, widen teeth, and even reduce wrinkles in clothes. And this can easily take me up to two hours of work for each photo. So when I saw that there's a plugin for Photoshop that helps you retouch quicker, I was eager to get my hands on it. I had many feedbacks about it, and I found a lot of positive reviews, which made me to consider buying my first plugin. One of the challenges we have at the end of a session or wedding is to achieve an addition in our photograph that look natural. This is where retouch for me has become a game changer. I love the feature that you can pick how much effect it has on your photo and you can adjust it accordingly to your style. I saved a lot of time and always end up having amazing results with my work. I am extremely happy with the quality. Now. I am more efficient and have more time to spare with my family. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by b &H Photo, the professional source since 1973. We All are right. back. Scott and Eric are here. And uh, let's look at some more websites. We don't have much time left because we're kind of, well, we're over time. Uh, this one's a nice one. Uh, I, it's a different layout than the other one. But the but the photo because of the way it's laid out kind of has good impact. Yeah. This would be a good way to do it if you shoot tall a lot, right? And and you still want to yeah, have like your tall have some it. impact. Yeah, I think that's pretty nice. All right, and uh, I, I just looked at this. I'm going to tell you, I looked at this architecture one. I really liked, <laughs> really liked his architecture architectural photo. So this looks like Chicago. A lot of this right here. Mm -hmm. I recognize a lot of these scenes from Chicago. Uh, that's I saw this on my Chicago photo walk a few years ago. But there, big images. Chicago River. These are yeah, great. Uh, Marina Towers. Shout out to to Paul Cober. Um, yes. Yeah, these are. I love his architectural stuff and his post processing is really good. Okay, but I'm not supposed to critique the photos. Well, now I'm not critiquing. Them, I'm just giving them praise. There's no critique there. <laughs> Do you all, think it's start getting a little long though at this point? It seems like a lot of photos. But can I tell you something? I love this photo right here. This one is yeah, so cool. clever with the guys. Look at that. Looks like the Lloyds of London in, in, in London, <laughs> which is where I guess uh, there, that's Lloyds of London for sure. And that's Vegas. All right. Now, how do we get out of here? I the guess this is nice uh, over and look nice, easy navigation. His, his um, the logo, logo is not too yeah. big. Uh, it's big here on the front page. It doesn't need to be that big. I but think you're trying okay. to balance it there because he's got the Yeah, he's trying to balance it over here. And uh, aviation, you know, we got to look at that. Nice. Good photographer. The sizes of the thumbnails are good. I, I think you got a pretty good thing going here. All right. And it's Sweet. a different layout with the tall, you know. That's, that's not bad. All right. Let's uh, see what we got over here. So this is one I think is kind of the opposite. You got a wide shot. I would love to see that really big. It's a beautiful shot. Yeah, it's almost like you're doing the split screen, but you got a wide yeah. shot that you could do more yeah. impact. You could uh, 
And you have a weird thing here, here, Melody. You've got your your. You notice that nobody's navigation's on the bottom. Yeah, you, and when you do that, then you're just throwing yeah, people off because they don't know where to go. I can't see it uh, on a 15 inch monitor on a laptop. I can't even see it. I have to know. Well, wh how do I get? Where do I go? I'm clicking around. Well, I guess I click here to gallery. But then the question would be like, why isn't that the home page? Yeah, but also, yeah, these are bigger. This like, is what bigger. did the other page do that that page doesn't? I mean, other than it's still got the navigation hidden on the bottom. Yeah, it's time for an up update here. Oh, what beautiful photos, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're so good. Yeah, so what Scott yeah. wants to see is that as your yes. home page. He wants to see the scrolling yeah, images. Yeah. Let's, big. Get, let's get some of your best scrolling and stuff. Then just Man, put your, your photos navigation really up at the good. top. Just put your navigation yeah. up at the top. In fact, I think it is up at the top in that hamburger if you go up to the top. Is that a hamburger? Yep, there it is. It's just being hidden. Boy, it's hidden. Every, every place on your website is hidden. Yeah. Like the navigation hidden. It's just time for a remake, Melody. You have beautiful images. Um, let's, let's show them in their best light because these are, man, if I could see this, like that's, that's way bigger than the image you have on your home page. Mm -hmm. And that, that has real impact, right? I, I'd even like to see it bigger. But that, this is all I would need to know about you. If I came to your page and I saw that, what do I think? Oh, great, great photographer. photographer. Great. How did she get that? You know, the movement in the wings is so sharp. And I'm, you know what I mean? I'm like all in on this picture. So do you think that's like a photographer? Pro I mean, I've noticed that that's maybe, maybe a commonality here is us as photographers, we have a problem if we want to show a body of work rather than relying on that one impact, Melody, one impact, you can, one impact. You can rely on your one impact. You show me three or four of your best shots and I'm sold and I want to learn more. Well, yeah, but I, I'm saying I, I it notice that it's kind of a trend here. Yeah. That you know, you're wanting that like, give me your best shots way big right up front. Yep. And set that impact because then you're gonna go. Hey, if I need to shoot hunting birds, I'm calling. I'm calling Mel you. I'm calling I'm Melody. Calling you. All right, let's take a look at John's site here. Welcome to my photographic journey and the long bunch of text no one's going to read. But John did the thing where he's got a tall shot over here and all that, and then he's trying click. to balance it. Yeah. All right. Nice big, big stuff. And he's been to Rome, which is nice. Let's. Uh, Buildings. See, I think what Scott would have travel. liked, what you would have liked there, is if that was the home page and the other page was the about page. Yep. Yeah. Lots of cool photos. Why can't I see them big? Except for the butt photo. Why can't I see them big? Right? Why can't I see? Look at that. I want to see them big. Huh. Oh, you know what looks interesting? This one. It's mm. a mesmerizing first image. Look at this one. That's a neat place. That is a neat place. Where is it? Is it tell? Nope. Um, that's in Prague. That's the old clock there. We know where this is. Mm -hmm. Perfect Rifle chance to tower. do a uh, long exposure. Long exposure. And then uh, right next to it, that's, that's in uh, Paris. That's Paris, in the yeah. museum. The something or other. Thank you. Yeah, nice photos. I just think a little work on the site, I think. I think just a little work, and this needs to go on your about page. Yeah, like don't make that your home page. Yeah, and I'd rather see a big, I'd much rather see a bigger image, but not not bad. I mean, I think. Well, I think looking at your images, too, that, that image is not your best This is best not your best image. Best no, image. No. Not even in your top 20. All right. All right. We've got, uh, do we have some more? Yeah, we have uh, three more. Three more. All right. We got Caroline's. Very nice. Beautiful picture of Tuscany to start off here. All right. I can tell, Scott, you're going to like it because of that impact on that one image yep, up front. That's nice. Nice big that's, image up front. Makes now, me think. as we're yeah. scrolling, little start tiny getting tiny, tiny. Baby tiny thumbnails. Thumbnails, thumbnails, thumbnails. What's up down at the bottom? Does it say all galleries? Been to Amsterdam. Nice. Uh, it says all, all galleries. Okay. You know what, Caroline? I, you're doing it by city. 
That would be fine to share with friends, but to the photography community, no one's gonna go through all your galleries. Can you just pick your 24 best travel images and just show me your best 24? And I know it's hard to narrow it down, especially when you got so many good shots. These yeah. are really good. These are great. Yeah. Hmm. Very nice stuff. Beautiful. It's just, it's just, look at that. Doggone. Great shots. Really great photography. And, and not a bad, it's not a bad sight. You start off with this nice, big, strong image here. And then it gets down to the little thumbnails. And I just think it, make it simpler with less images. And I think you'd, you'd really have something here because your photography is lights out. Very, very nice photography. Just yeah, that's beautiful. An, that's an interesting thing I keep on hearing is making, it's kind of like that question we had before, make your, that portfolio site your best images. And if everybody hits your best images, they're going to immediately think you're, you're an excellent photographer. Yeah. Scrolling four or five nice images here would be nice. Really yeah. big like that. And, uh, yeah, featured photos. I just think it needs a little tightening up, but, but you know, it's, you know, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, Carolyn or Caroline. All right, here we go. So this is the home page, right? Yeah. Nice photos. Good photographer. Oh, Robert Norris. Mm -hmm. I know who this is. Yeah, this is Robert Norris. I know Robert. I like how big the images are. Yeah, they're nice and big and bold. Lots of good photography. Well, that's nice. Look how nice that is with the cello. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right, big and bold. I'm, I still think, Robert, I'd love to see like a really big photo. Let me pick a really impactful one that I would want to see at the start. This is a good shot. Oh, bigger though. I can't go bigger. Big though. A really big, nice shot. This is a nice shot. Mm -hmm. That's a very nice shot. This is a very nice shot. It's just tall. We need a wide. Yeah, I think you got some some winners here. You just got to... It would be nice to see two or three really... But this isn't bad. Because at least we've got all the... Now, is there a way we could... So you've got yeah, no, R.G. Like, Norris. It's and like then you've you got, got a your logo name again, and the name. And your name. That's what we were talking about before. I don't even think you need it. If you either put the logo, you're good, or put the name and you're good. Yeah. Because that's taking up a lot of real estate, too. Yeah. I See how much the little, logo is kicking yeah, up the real estate? A little bit of refresh, because you got the great images. It's just your... Yeah, just, the navigation toolbar yeah. and the logo. It's like, just, just work with the logo. Or if you could put the logo next to the... It's almost like the... I don't know. Is, is is portraits a link? It's not a link. No. I thought it was. I clicked on. Yeah. It. So see, we thought that that was a link too. So 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 he's he only does portraits. Yes. So lots of good ones though. All right. So I think just clean see, it but that's up like a I don't bit. even know if I need to know that. That's where sometimes we do that as as photographers. Like we try to explain it. Like yeah. if you just had your photography thing there and the about and us and page and portraits and the portraits, we, we, like I know, yeah. I get it. But, uh, and here's our last one for today. All right, I gotta be honest with you. I don't know what this says. <laughs> so start off by writing in English. No, I'm just totally kidding. <laughs> um, so look, he's got a quote from Henri Cartier-Bresson on the yep. cover. I like it already. Very cool image, right? Eric, you can speak yeah, to this, yeah. Star Trails. Star Trails, yeah. And then I'm thinking Los Gents means the men in Spanish. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think so. No, okay. Let's click on it. I think it probably means enter here. All right, there we go. Nice big images. I like it. Moody. Mallorca. Oh, you're doing that thing where you're, you're every place you've ever been, you got a whole, you know. I guess it just depends on what you want to use your website for. That's probably what it comes down to. Like, you know, it's if like, you want to just show out? your friends and family where you went on vacation or, you know. Yeah, it, well, that's what's so hard. It's like, I feel like these sites are not portfolio sites. They're like, 
this is something I share with people instead of sending them to my Instagram or Facebook yeah. page. Where a portfolio site is like, this Here's is my, best my body of work. Yep. Here's my best 24 images that you can look at and go, I totally understand your style of photography, what you do, without needing to click in and dive in and go deep. Yeah, and he, he misspelled this. See, it's Venice. <laughs> it's not yep. Venedig. Come on. Spelling counts. I'm just joking, everyone. I know it's German or whatever language yes. it is. <laughs> it looks like German. All right. Yep. But I'm telling you, oh, look at this. So that ballroom, I rented that ballroom right there. There's a ballroom up there. Yeah, see, so this right. is where there's a there's there's gems in here. Finding there's the some gems. gems. This is again to go back to. I mean, I think you'd have a very strong case for. Yeah, I'm telling you. Twenty, thirty, like impactful Killer images, images yes. in a portfolio. And, and look at that. Look at that size and right just there. Just make it a portfolio site. Yeah, pick your best twenty-four images. Because this is just that's what I think we're noticing here. There's some sites that are not portfolio sites. They are like here's my photos that I share with people. It's just like a Flickr account or yep. something. It's just like, here's my photos I share with people. Yeah. But you know what? Look at the impact that that shot has right there at this big size. That big size is, man, you got some great shots. See, oh, look at, oh, look at that. That's yeah. nice. Boy, if I, if that was your opening shot, I would really be impressed. So you're not far off from, you've been there during Carnival, which is nice. Uh, you're not far off from having some really, really neat stuff. You got the photos. It's not the photos. You've been to Briarano. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah. That's very artistic. It's very <laughs> graphical. I really like that shot. Very oh. nice. Inside the ballroom. Butimus, Maximus. Very nice. All right, so I think you know what I think you know what you got to do to get this down to a reasonable amount. Now you could say, Scott, that's not what I want this for. And but yeah, cool. but we're looking at we're trying to really looking at a portfolio site that is designed to showcase your work as a photographer. And when you have hundreds and hundreds of photos on there, that's not really a and that's portfolio. What, that's site. what we're saying here. When you get down to it, you have a portfolio site within this site. You have the strong images that if somebody looked at and went, this is their portfolio, they'd be like, man, they're hey, really good. A couple of feedback here. Robert says, hey, Robert. He says, I get it too. Thanks for the feedback. One day it'll be perfect. <laughs> there you it's go. close. Robert, you're on it's your way. It's on the way. Uh, Jack says, thanks for the feedback on my Bald Eagle site. I did major revisions to it after watching Stella's class on Kelby One. There you awesome. go. Awesome. All right. Very good. Okay. Well, guys, we are... Well, we're 22 minutes over, which is not. We need to give away us. prices, though. Let's we give away give some give prizes, prizes, shall we? So. Eric, what do you think? Yeah. Prizes? So uh, we have Bob uh, Fakelman is winning the How Do I Do That in Photoshop book. Uh, Bob Kinkle is winning the Photoshop for Digital hey, Photographers. Hey, Bob. Uh, Sorry, Bob. Tony Mitchell is winning the Platy uh, Platy Pod Grip. Uh, Robert Holder is winning the V Flat. Ray from SD is winning the On One No Noise, and then. Amy Davis Byron is winning the retouch for me mattify and then B macro is winning the slick pick. So just email us if you want over at gridprize.com. We'll verify information and then we'll send her out your prize. Uh, just make sure to do that by this Friday, please. All righty. Well, thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for watching the show next week. Uh, Eric is going to go into detail about shooting the eclipse. So make sure you join us for that yeah. next. Let's Wednesday. hope the weather's uh, getting better. Let's hope the weather's getting better by next Wednesday. The clouds part and we eclipsize together. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next week on the grid.